Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us on Snow Globe Rescue. Hello. I'm Tony and with me as usual is Allie. Hello. And we have our first Snow Globe repair for 2023. Yay! Woohoo! So today... Uh, today we, is a special one. Yes, today what we have, this uh, belongs to a friend of ours named Nikki. Okay, now let's get this straight here, okay? Nikki is my best friend for over 20 mm -hmm. years. She's like a sister, so she's like family. Right. Okay, let's just get that straight. It's a very close Ooh. friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. So we went to Nikki's house for a Christmas party uh, recently in December. And uh, when we were there, she said, hey, I have a snow globe that's missing all its water. And we said, I think we can fix it. Yeah. So um, this is the snow globe right here that she showed us. Um, this is a uh, Lady in the Tramp. And uh, this, we just recently watched uh, the uh, the scene here to re-familiarize ourselves. But this is uh, a scene behind Tony's restaurant in the alley. Mm -hmm. uh, lady is a Cocker Spaniel uh, from... Uh, uh, a nice neighborhood, apparently. He, he, well pampered. Uh, well yes, pampered. well pampered, uh, up, up, up and coming uh, cocker spaniel who is uh, <laughs> becoming. <laughs> yeah, who was who was going out with this uh, kind of a shaggy, uh, well, mutt. Yeah, I guess he's. I guess he's a mutt. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. But uh, I guess they consider him a tramp because he's just. Uh, I guess he doesn't have a job or anything. So, <laughs> um, so anyways, right? He, they're they're back behind the uh, the restaurant and they're having a spaghetti dinner and. This is where they uh, have that one strand of spaghetti that causes their uh, snouts to touch and uh, she gets all embarrassed. But uh, what's funny is uh, this guy is the owner of the restaurant. His name's Tony. I'm Tony. Mm -hmm. And this guy is chef. His name's Joe. My brother's name is Joe. So this is Tony and Joe. That's me and my brother. So. What's funny is he's serenading them. Yeah. Okay. Um, you serenaded me on our wedding night. Oh, that, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's true. So there's a connection so there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we did notice this uh, crate of lettuce in the scene. Yes. And we didn't see the apples, but there, there was a Probably barrel. There. there was a barrel that looked like it had a bunch of like uh, Italian bread sticking out of it. Yeah. This barrel has a bunch of wood. So similar, but not exactly the same. So, and he's got his accordion there. And then we've got the uh, lady in the tramp up there in the... Uh, Got some breadsticks we got some breadsticks on the, on the uh, table there right the table. and as we go around here we got the steps going up to the back and then here are some buildings which are on that street there one of these is probably the restaurant there behind it it does play the song that he's serenading them as well in the scene uh they're playing a uh, song called bella notte and uh the music box on this plays bella notte so we'll listen to that later mm-hmm uh, so the problem with this globe is, and we discovered what the problem was, and it might be hard to see, but if you look right between these two buildings, mm -hmm. uh, nice. there is a crack. Giant crack. Comes all the way from the base, up, curves up, and disappears behind this building right here. So that's where all the water leaked out of. How that got cracked back there, it's protected by the building, so we don't know, but uh, it's cracked. So we're going to have to take the cover off at the bottom here, and we're going to have to take that figurine out and then we're going to have to remove this globe and replace it with a, a new globe. Yeah, other than that, it's in perfect condition. Oh, yeah, there's she, absolutely she nothing keeps, wrong with it. Um, she has a curio cabinet that has a bunch of Disney globes in it right. that she's had for years. I'm mm -hmm. talking like 20 years. Right. Um, this is one of them. Mm -hmm. So um, I told her we would take good care of it and get it fixed and then go from there. Right. And as we're doing this, I'm also taking still shots so I can send her... The progress along the way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and fix this up, uh, get a new globe on there, fill it back up, put some glitter, and try to match the glitter up as close as possible to what's yeah, original. I, I, and, it was uh, hard to tell, but I think I got a combination that she'll like. Yep. So let's get this fixed. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. As usual, the first step now is to get the cover off the bottom so we can access the globe. So we're going to put a towel down to protect the globe. I'm going to lay it back there. And it looks like instead of being uh, glued in, it's like we have screws holding the cover in. Which is always nice. That'll be nice. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if that's all. Because we've had in the past uh, covers that were screwed in and glued in. That happened once or mm -hmm. twice. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so now. Okay. All right, so there's the, uh, so we have some lights. 
that go up in here. Okay, these lights go up in these holes right here for the buildings. So those buildings light up. So I we'll have to make sure we get those bulbs back up in there when we put this back together. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to heat up mm -hmm. the base mm -hmm. because this is not a totally yeah. open base here. So yeah. this is a situation that uh, normally we can just take the cover off. If, if you've seen our previous videos, we'll have a big open space here to get to the uh, to, mm -hmm. to the globe and the stopper. Yeah. However, that's not the case here. The case here, they just have a small <clears> opening <throat> here. You can't really do anything. So the uh, globe was obviously glued in from the top. Yeah. So we're going to have to heat this uh, base up mm -hmm. and loosen the glue up, and then we can lift this globe up out of there. Of course, I'm not surprised that the globe that this woman hands me is going to be more difficult <laughs> <laughs> than All right. your average globe. All right, let's go get this. Uh, let's see if we can get this globe open. So as usual, our preferred method for... Uh, removing the globe from the base is uh, the hot water or boiling water actually. So uh, as we usually do, we're putting the entire globe into a plastic bag to protect it from the hot water. And then we're going to put this in a bowl. We're boiling some water right now. And when we get that boiling water, we're going to go ahead and pour it up to where the globe and the base meet. not. Make sure you don't get the globe into the water. And then we'll uh, let that boiling water uh, work on that. All right, hot water's ready. And we're gonna pour that hot water. All the way up to the top of the base. There you go. All right. Yeah, because it kind of floated up and now it's sinking now down. It's, it's now right it's down. There. Okay, so there we go. We're going to let that sit for 10 minutes. We're going to check it. If it's not ready, we'll let it sit for another 10, but we'll go ahead and boil some water uh, just in case and put some fresh boiled water in there to keep the heat going and get that glue uh, loosened up. So we'll check back. All right, we finally did it. We got the globe off of the base. There was a huge wad mm -hmm. of uh, glue in there yeah. and the heat just took... This is <clears throat> the... This is the longest it's ever taken us to get a globe off of a, of a uh, base. Uh, the longest it ever took before was 30 minutes. This one took well over an hour and we boiled fresh water every like 10 minutes. Then after an hour, it was like every 15 minutes. I think it took about an hour and a half. Yeah, but it took eventually, quite some time. Eventually, I, think I fell asleep on the couch. Huh? You did fall asleep on the couch, <laughs> yes. Eventually, uh, it did, the heat did loosen the, the hot glue enough that we were able to twist the uh, the bolt the globe off and so now we got to get all this glue off of here and we've got to uh, get a new globe to put this figurine in so uh, let's all right so as you saw earlier we uh, had quite a uh, <laughs> quite a fight with this one to get the uh, the snow globe out but uh, <laughs> there was a lot of glue in there and like I said it took over an hour and a half but we we cleaned out uh, as much of the glue as we could get out of the base here so uh, actually, and this thing has a nice little channel to hold the, the glue, just kind of like you can just actually fill it up and drop the, uh, the globe that's in there. That's exactly what they did. Uh, yeah, that, that would seal the globe and hold it in at the same time. So of, that's actually a, a, good, a good design, I guess. Of course, your globe, Mickey, would be <laughs> the <laughs> longest <laughs> to get the globe out. Yeah, that was that was the longest it ever took us to, to get a globe out of the out of the uh, base. So interesting, and it's because you know with uh, with the bag the with, with, with the bag protecting it, uh, the heat had to get past all of this and past all of this to heat up the glue here. But it, it eventually did it. it. Took we didn't give up on it. No, uh, and we have a replacement. But we do globe. have a replacement globe. We have a replacement globe here. This one's in excellent condition. Nothing wrong with it. And so now we're going to go ahead and get this. Uh, figurine out of this old globe which is obviously correct a lot of glue here so we're a lot to, of glue we're gonna have to cut through this glue and uh get that out in one piece hopefully so let's go ahead and uh see. yeah if you I... could hold that yeah. i'll see if i can i'm gonna use a because this is good that i don't want to cut my fingers so right exactly so let's see what we can do here It's like you get half of it out and then it gets stuck again. The glue kind of resticks. Yes. <sighs> okay. 
All right. Ooh. Wow. Oh my God, that was difficult. Hold on. The, the glue is still, there's still glue over here <laughs> holding on. Hold on. Okay. There, wow. Yeah. Um, this was the most difficult that was. figurine removal from a globe we've ever had. It looks like when they put the globe into the uh, into the base, it uh, a bunch of glue, hot glue, got in between the stopper and the glass and stuck the stopper to the glass. So we're gonna have to clean all of this glue off of here, or uh, as much as possible, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean up this figurine and uh, get it ready to put back in. If it wasn't for the crack in that glass, this would have never leaked. <laughs> oh right, you yes. Know what I, mean? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> With uh, that amount of glue, <laughs> the, all of this glue sealing that globe. Yeah. Had that globe not cracked yeah. on her, uh, yeah. on, on Nikki, if this had not cracked, I don't the, think this a, a, a drop of water would no, leak out of here. Never. I don't think how it could it have. have. Never got. It would have never right. leaked. <laughs> well, let's get this cleaned up and right. see if we can put this back together. So the figurine now has been rinsed off and cleaned. It looks good. The uh, globe uh, cleaned. We used uh, just. Uh, mild dish detergent mm -hmm. a, a uh, sponge with a handle on it and a very soft brush to just brush anything that might be stuck on there being that it was dry there was some uh, glitter and stuff stuck on there and some residue so we cleaned it off it looks good now so uh we're ready to put this back together yes new for 2023 we're doing something new you see our snow globe water here uh instead of mixing the glue into the globe after we put the water in We've done something new here. We're taking this gallon of water. We've got this mixture ready to go. We, uh, we've been using 30% uh, clear Elmer's glue uh, across the board for our globe. So what we decided to do is we just went ahead and took this one gallon jug here. We took out 30% of the water, replaced it with glue, and the water already had a quarter cup of uh, alcohol in it. So this water here has some alcohol and 30% glue in it. We just got to pour it out so it's ready to go. So this will be our new snow globe water here. So, uh, and Allie has some uh, glitter picked out that uh, matches uh, what was in there before. I found, I think, I saw some purple orchid notes in there. I saw some bluey green notes. So I came up with these. This is really as good as I could find that looks... Uh, you know, kind of, there wasn't much of the glitter left in there because all the water was out by the time we got it. Right. So, so. but this is what's left over on the base. So I'm hoping I matched it up pretty well. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and put our water in here, pre mixed. And we'll bring it up to about there. Okay. So, Allie, go ahead and get your glitter. All right, let's see. Let's get some glitz. Okay, because I want the, the base of the color to be that. Oh, I almost knocked that over. Would have been glitter everywhere. Okay. So that's the purple, was that it? That is the orchid. Which looks purple to me. It does. It's it's like a it's it's kind of like a pinky purpley mm -hmm. color this is um turquoise and because there is a hint of that bluish green in there okay we're gonna see what that looks like uh, and go from i don't want to i don't want to overload it with um so much glitter you can't see the figurine i don't know it looks good does that look good i think, it looks I think good. that looks good okay yep, looks good okay so, go ahead and hold on to that. Yeah, I got it. I'll get the figurine here. We'll go ahead and wet the stopper. Now, I'm pretty sure, I mean, we can look back, but I'm pretty sure I took a picture of the direction that the figurine was it. in, but yeah, <laughs> only because we couldn't mark it. <laughs> right, exactly. So, I'm going to take this little screwdriver here and make a space for the air to escape, and then we're just going to... a little easier. And then we're just going to go around and push the stopper in and maybe we'll get it without a without a let's see if we can get it without a yeah. uh okay get ready to pull that screwdriver out when i yes. tell you to ready and go let's see let's see how'd you fare oh one <laughs> <laughs> we've got one, one little, little air bubble so oh, so close. 
So almost, one, one small one at the top there. So we're gonna go ahead and let this settle because there might be some other little air bubbles and trapped in the figurine. So I we're gonna, see it now, okay. Yeah, we're gonna move this around and we're gonna let any air bubbles yeah. that are in there get to the get top. Get to the top. And then we'll get the air bubble out here in a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we're ready to get this air bubble out. And you can see after sitting for a while, the air bubble has gathered up there. And uh, we went ahead and put this little screwdriver, very small screwdriver in between the stopper and the glass so that the air can escape. Uh, you could use a pair of needle nose and just pull back the stopper, whatever, it, whatever works for you. This is what works for us. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this into the water and we're gonna get that air bubble up to where that screwdriver is. And then I'm just gonna tilt the screwdriver back, open the stopper and then that air bubble can come out. Now, we'll check this and see. There is no air bubble whatsoever. Looks good. Looks good. So I'm gonna pull this screwdriver out while it's still under the water so we don't get another air bubble in there. Double check one more time. Yeah, okay. Looks good. No air bubble whatsoever. Looks good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and let this, uh, we're gonna actually dry this up. Yeah. And then we can put this back into the base. All right, we're ready to put this back together. Uh, and the nice feature, like we pointed out earlier, this channel right here has that raised little uh, raised edge on the inside and it has this wall here. This channel right here will hold the hot glue. And when we drop the bolt, the, the globe in there, it'll seal and hold the globe in at the mm -hmm. same time, all in one step. Yeah. So let's see, this is a different design than what I've seen before. So let's, uh, let's do it here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Filling it up with glue. Okay, Allie, get ready to put that other glue stick in there. Yeah, yeah go ahead and put it in there. Yeah. All right, let's see, get some more glue in there, okay. All right, Allie, get ready and drop her in. All right, let's see, you have to check me now, make sure it's going in the right. Right there, the breadsticks are, the breadsticks line up with this red brick right here. You got it. Is that right? Yep. Right, just, just right about there. there, I think, right, right. Right there. There. There you go, okay. Push it down. Look, that looks good. Yep. That looks, okay, good. That looks okay. good. Okay. We're going to let that glue dry or cool, I should say. Yeah, then we're going to cool. flip it upside down, put the uh, cover on, and uh, all right, take... that glue has cooled. Now, the first step, we're going to put this on its back here. Let's do that. And we have three spots here where these lights go. So we got to get these lights back in there for those buildings. And these just kind of slide in there. So let me get my. All right. So we'll take these three lights right here and we will push them into their spot where they go. Okay, we got all three lights back in place. Now I'm going to very carefully put this back on. All right, now we're going to put this, go ahead and, uh, there we go. We're gonna move this over here. And we're gonna screw this cover back on as soon as I line up the holes here. All right, there we go, okay. And there we go. All right, let's put it up on the stand and take a look at it. All right, everyone, there she is, all finished. Looks good, she's got water, good. she's got glitter. There's no crack in the globe. <laughs> um, so looking good here. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to uh, Turn on the lights here. These buildings light up. Where is this? There we go. There we so, go. Uh, see, look at that. That's nice. We'll turn the lights off here in a second so you can see it in the dark. But uh, yeah, those three buildings in the back light up. And let's shake it up real quick, see how she looks. Hopefully you like it, girl. Um, like <laughs> I said, I did my best to match up the original color, but there wasn't a whole lot of that left. So I had to kind of guess on it a little bit. We use what glitter was uh, stuck to the figurine to figure as out what colors were there. Yeah. yeah. So there I we go. I hope you like it. But Look I love that. you, girl. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's turn the lights off and uh, yeah. see what it looks there like. It is with the lights on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it well. Can they? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, it it's a little dark, but they can see the lights. Uh, I see it in the camera at least. All right. From our perspective, it's really cool because you get the silhouette of the mm -hmm. puppies. Oh, yeah. you can kind of catch it right, right there. there. See, it's look really at that. Cool. Here, let's, it's a let, let's, globe. Now with the lights off, let's shake it up and get that glitter going. See with the lights behind it, what it looks like. This is a neat globe for sure. Yeah, look at that. 
She's had this one for quite some Ladies time. Ladies and gentlemen, there you are, the lady, lady and the, the lady, tramp. lady in the tramp, uh, new new glass uh, replacement. Uh, refill an empty globe and put new glitter in there and 30% uh, glue in the water and that's the effect you get. One more shake before we leave. Here we go. And there she is right there, Lady in the Tramp. Well, everyone, we hope you enjoyed that video and uh, let us know in the comments what you think and we will have more videos. You almost forgot to uh, check out that music box. So let's go ahead and play that now. And the song, as we said, is Bella Notte, which I believe is Beautiful Evening in Italian. We hope to see you in the next video and uh, everybody stay safe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Bye.